Hi guys. So I decided to come outside and sit to do this one. Um, it's just a really pretty day. And then if this uploads before the last video, I've been trying to upload it, but for some reason it keeps trying to upload my video upside down. So, um, I don't know what's up with that. I can't get that to solve itself. So, um, working on that, but I have my trusty notebook here, my paper. Um, I wrote down some superstitions for Appalachia. Um, I, these are just ones that I know of personally, um, that I've heard or, or that I believe, or that, you know, like my family has passed to me. So, um, anyways, I have, I have them wrote down because like some of them are kind of long, but there's one that's like a Bible verse. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I like, you know, had it exactly, like said it exactly the way that it says. And then I have, you know, the verse so that you guys can look it up if you feel like it. Um, and then I, I just wanted to come outside and sit and I'm actually in my children's swing right now. They're at school. So enjoying the swing, but I should have pulled it out more cause I'm bumping the house. But anyways, so, um, I'm also hoping that my aunt is not like up there watching me cause I still get nervous and I can just imagine her being like, what is she doing? Um, anyway, you think I'd be kind of better at this now? I'm partially flush for some reason. Anyway, okay, so one of the superstitions, um, and you guys may have heard of some of these if you have, let me know. Um, these, like this one is when someone passes, make sure you open the door so that the spirit can leave the house. Um, I've heard of this a, a couple different ways. Um, I guess it really just depends on, I guess, how you've heard it or your beliefs or whatever. Um, so I've heard that if you don't open the door when someone passes, um, that they're trapped and so then they'll haunt that house um i've heard that and then i've heard that you damn them um if you don't open the door then their soul you know cannot go to heaven um so you have to open the door when someone passes to let their soul be free um and then it's like when you do this um there will be wind, like a strong gust of wind. Um, so wind flow because the wind helps the soul to travel on its way to heaven. Um, and now I've heard this one my entire life. I still hear it. I still believe it too. Um, it is that death comes in threes. My whole entire life I've always been told that every time somebody dies, you know, somebody in the family is like, well, you know what that means? You know, um, death does come in threes uh, as far as I've ever known it or seen it. Um, now a lot of people believe that it's within your own family. I'm not necessarily sure of that one, but I have seen, um, and heard of, you know, people passing in threes, people that, you know, people in your family, um, it does happen in threes. Um, I'm not sure why three, but it does. Um, it happens in threes. Um, here's one I still do too. And I laugh when I tell you, you'll see why. Um, if an eyelash comes out, you stick it between your finger and your thumb and you make a wish and then you blow and if it sticks then your wish is going to come true um obviously if you can blow your um eyelash away then then it says that it won't come true i do that if i find an eyelash on my kids or my husband or myself i um i do that still to this day you have to make a wish and then you blow um I don't think I specified to make the wish. I just said your wish would come true. But you make a wish and then um, your wish comes true. So let's see. This one is the kind of long one. So um, this one my mother has always done. So this is a dog um, over there barking. I think they just got home. So their dog's excited to see them maybe. But um, also if you can hear some like construction-ish type stuff there's a i don't know if you can way over there um is a road that goes up the hill <laughs> i always get quiet when there's people driving i don't like like they can't hear me he probably can't even see me i don't even know who that is but i always get quiet i'm like you know anyways so um hear that can you hear that oh Anyway, um, so my mother has always done this to me and it's actually worked. I mean, I know that, um, a 
lot of people have their, you know, questions, I guess, about if any of this is real and stuff. And I mean, believe what you want. That's, you know, up to you, especially if you're not, um, if you didn't grow up around it, it's probably hard to believe some of the, the, um, some of the things that we think work. Um, but this one I know has worked. Um, in fact, we use it a lot. Um, my mother can recite it exactly to the word. Um, she always has ever since I was little. Um, and when I have an issue, like my daughter, she inherited nosebleeds from my husband and I had never really experienced nosebleeds, um, until I met my husband and they can get really bad. And so my daughter, she has really bad nosebleeds. And during the summer, she had one that was like the worst I've ever seen one. I could not get it to stop. It caused me to panic. Um, you know, and I was trying to stay calm for her because she was nervous and I was nervous and it was just a lot. And I called my mom and, and she recited this and it quit. So, um, it is, so if you're bleeding and you can't get it to stop, you say this three times. As I passed by thee and saw thee covered in thine own blood, I said unto thee, when thou wast in thy blood, live ye. I said unto thee, when thou was covered in thy blood, live so you say that three times. It's kind of hard to um, to remember and to say it like that, but it is um, in the Bible, and it is Ezekiel sixteen six. And like I said, I have personally seen it work myself. Um, I have, I really have. I've seen it, you know, on myself, on my daughter. Like I said, um, it's crazy. You know, it will obviously just not like instantly stop. It does take a minute or two, but it it stops, and it's crazy. Um, it really is. It's crazy. And like that day was the like, first time I'd actually seen it at such full force because she was bleeding. I had a really, really bad nosebleed. We were going through napkins, paper towels, you know, everything, trying to keep it from from running. I mean, poor poor thing. It was it was so bad. But it quit. Um, as soon as she got done doing that, um, it wasn't even maybe a minute later and there was not a single drop of blood left. Not anything. So, um, and then the last one that I have on here is put a spoon in your mouth while chopping an onion and you won't cry. Um, now I've heard, I've not really heard the spoon one that much compared to I've heard as like a piece of wood. Um, but both of these I've heard, um, throughout my life, it's, um, the woodworks also, you know, like people, people turn on, if you turn on cold water while, while chopping an onion, um, that helps, that does help. That's what I do is turn on the cold water, um, the wood, the spoon, something in your mouth to, um, help with that. So you don't cry while chopping onions. So let me know if you know of any of these. Um, if you want me to keep doing these, I would love to. I am trying to figure out how to set up a blog site. I have no idea how to do it personally. So I'm trying to figure it out because I would love to write these kind of things on there. I would love to, you know, to write stories and stuff like that. So I'm trying to figure all of that out. Um, just let me know if you'd be interested in more of these. All right. Have a good day.